Hi kids, it's Pastor Alan here again, and we're continuing our series in the Lord's Prayer. And as is our custom, let's read it together. A Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So this time we're going to be looking at where David writes, my cup overflows. And as I mentioned, this is part of the second half of the psalm, where in the first half he was describing uh, painting a picture we could say of him uh being a, a sheep and god is a shepherd just like he had been a shepherd of sheep and then what happens in uh verse verses five and six um, especially verse five is this image of or a picture of him being a guest at a at a very fine banquet and that god is his host at that banquet and the banquet and this is the strange part of this picture that he's painting is he's being surrounded by his enemies so he's in a very difficult situation and yet god is there with him uh with great provision and that's really emphasized in in what he says as my cup overflows so so picture being at this great banquet with all this wonderful food and the host comes and you hold out your cup to for it to be filled and he fills it very 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 to the top and the, the expression in hebrew it could either mean to the very very top or actually poured in such a way so that uh it overflows not not like a fizzy drink that can over overflow that way but where the actual drink picture a cup of juice overflowing and making a mess on the table and that might sound kind of strange but the idea is being given way more than than we need that you know more so much to overflowing and that's how god relates to his children now as i've said before it, there's the feeling part and then there's the truth and reality part of life and david knew what it was like to face enemies and be in great trouble the the person that he was serving the most king saul who was so loyal to eventually treated david unjustly as an enemy and was seeking to to kill david and david had to run away and lived in caves and 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 faced all sorts of very difficult things and yet he pictured his life as being cared for like a like a sheep of a great shepherd and a guest at a very very fine banquet where the host was pouring out upon him such great food and drink and that's really when we know the lord that's what our life is really like it could feel bad but the more we know who God is and how much he loves us as our heavenly father, we understand his great generosity in our lives. And so there's the, so it's, it's like our cup is full to the brim, even to overflowing. If you don't see it that way, if you feel like your life is like an empty dry cup and there's nothing left for you, I would really encourage you to get with your parents and pray that God shows you how much he really loves you. Because when we read words like this, we're not just supposed to go, okay, that's what it is, and, and just get on with it. This is a description of what reality with knowing God should be. I know in my own life how sometimes I could feel like my life is, is, is dry, empty, when actually it's full. And so I need to be reminded by God, not just that it's true, but how it's really true. And only he can show us that. So let's pray. Our Father, we thank you that you've put into our hands, into our lives, a full overflowing cup of your love and of your goodness. Help us, Lord, all of us, 
myself, the children, their families, and others to know how generous you are to us and what that really means. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time, it's Pastor Alan here. God bless you and your families.